Hello, and as promised, here we are with the second video, and now we are going to look into the forum post and some exclusive screenshots we have over here, and some pictures of the additional uh, animals that we haven't seen in the trailer yet. So you've seen potentially my trailer analysis. If you haven't seen that one, link is to the top right. You know the drill. Okay, but now let's jump in. I'm gonna keep it short and crisp for you here so that you don't miss out on anything, um, but I don't wanna bother you with too much content, you know? That's not gonna happen. So this is the forum post. You can see, you know, Shantae delivered something to us and most of it was already told uh, you know to you guys in my last last video so I'm not going to talk too much about it so we know it's a animal only DLC pack which is going to drop the 30th of March alongside the 1.5 update which I guess we still get some more info about um, and then we do have eight animals so seven actual animals plus one exhibit one these animals are the clouded leopard we've seen already unique sun bear we've seen the proboscis uh, monkey the fascinating uh, been too wrong which we're Going to have a look on because that one is extremely interesting and that one gets me excited i'm going to talk about that later on as well um the malayan tapir the yusuri dole which is also pretty cool because um this is like a fox like one if you don't know and then we have the north sulawesi babirusa we've seen that in the trailer and then we do have our exhibit animal the malayan leaf insect which i think is a a good addition for our insect houses and stuff. I mean, it's an exhibit animal. Come on, it's we know it's great to have those, but um, they surely don't really create that much excitement as, for example, the habitat animals. We have another nice shot here of uh, the wonderful bears, as you can see. This is um, a shot of the baby bears, which is pretty cool. They still already or they do already have some uh, cool long. Uh, claws so to say I'm, I'm i'm a bit excited <laughs> i don't want to see these babies in the wild as well um and then you can see there is a new brand new time scenario i know actually from your comments that um you guys actually love the uh, time scenarios. I haven't played them yet, but alongside the new um, trophies and stuff you can earn for those, I think it's pretty cool to have that one. And there is a new time scenario in a tropical rainforest setting. Um, the pack costs uh, seven pound ninety nine or nine ninety nine in euro and dollar. Uh, this is pretty good. You can buy them, and this is something different, as promised. Before we go into the screenshots and one very interesting one, because we do have a new enrichment, as you've seen from the thumb potentially um i want to say i know i've seen some of the early comments and people have been talking about you know pieces missing and stuff like that we talk about this topic at the very end of the video so stick with me um so you do know about my opinion and why i think it's a good move it's maybe not the perfect move but it's a definitely a very good move and let's talk about that later on however now let's jump over to the screenshots all right, look, here we are, and this is the wonderful Binturong, um, and, and this one, this one gets me excited. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I have no idea, I had no idea that this animal exists. That is the first time ever I hear about this animal, and it's freaking huge. Like, when I saw it first in the, when I was googling for the images, um, I didn't know how big it actually is, but this one is huge. I think they get, like, to one and a half meters of, of length, and, um, maybe even bigger. Some of them have been, as I found on YouTube on a very quick research, uh, one meter eighty or something in length, and then plus the tail. Freaking huge animals. Um, um, and they are very interesting. I, again, I have no idea, um, and I'm really interested which kind of rig they are using for this animal. I, I actually thought when I first looked up, this might be like the the red panda, but the red panda is way too small, so I'm not really sure what they do with it. Um, especially because this animal has a very interesting way of uh, behaving and and moving. Um, so maybe this is a new animal rig, which would be amazing because that could open the doors for some new movements. And oh boy, I would love to see this one over here. I, I use this picture for a very specific reason. I am really lacking this behavior. Like animals that dwell in the trees and, you know, that climb, we need this sleeping behavior. And if they just give me an enrichment item that is basically a trunk or whatever, you know, on which they do it and I can use that in a creative way, I'm fine with that. You know, I can understand why they potentially cannot do this on all pieces, might be a little bit too hard with the uh, locomotion system, but then again, just just give me the enrichment item and I'll, I'll, 
I'll shut up, okay? I will be very happy about this. But yeah, this is that one. Then we have the Dowel. I hope I do pronounce that correctly. This is a fox-like, uh, dog-like wild dog. I think it's kind of a wild dog animal, but it actually is a little bit more fox-like. Um, I've got two images of that one over here. Um, pretty interesting. Um, I guess it's gonna use the dingo wolf kind of rig. Um, so it's pretty much another dog-like animal, but I think it's great. A good addition, very fox-like. I like the color scape of it. Um, very interesting one as well, and uh, a pretty good uh, animal to fill in into your zoos. I, I, you know, not really that much else to say about this one because it's good, uh, not gonna lie, but uh, yeah, that's that's how it is. And then we have our insect, that's the Malayan giant leaf insect. This is this is the one you, you all know potentially. Um, these two images I found over here. Um, pretty interesting, um, uh, pretty, pretty interesting to see how they make the looping animation um, with these animals. They don't really move that much, but when they move, this looks pretty funky. Um, so really interesting to see that. I, I think this animal is pretty fun um, and I'm really really excited to see it. I, I guess I will actually do a little uh, habitat for this one this time. Well not habitat but like a you know creative exhibit who knows um, how that will turn out but this is something really interesting. And then let's move on to the screenshots we got. This is kind of uh, all the screenshots you can find also on Steam. They are out there and we can see another wonderful shot here of our friend the sun bear sitting. You can see there's a cave in the background very nicely done and this one is the one that got me excited. That is our our friend again the clouded leopard and oh boy is this thing amazing this is fantastic I think you know from looking at it I have to see the movement but this could become easily my favorite animal in the game I I think this model is just way above the others I don't know I don't know if if they do have changes in the fur shaders I did actually ask um, Frontier about this I'm still waiting for an answer at this point um, but maybe I'll get this answer soon I really, really do hope that um, this is true because it looks like that and it looks fantastic. I don't know how, but it, it, it just looks a lot more clean, a lot more realistic. The fur looks a bit more realistic and I think also the head, as I said already in the other video, the head shape and stuff looks fantastic. I really do admire the work they did on the Clouded Leopard. I, really do it's really good looking but the real star of the show is that one on the right hand side we all know it it's amazing i didn't know when when you guys um heard the video um i talked about this spotted in the video um at this point where i was recording the video i had no freaking idea i was thinking about something like a liani where they could overhead climbing or whatever um unfortunately that's not overhead climbing but we do have this hammock over here which um is going to be a wonderful enrichment item for the animals i guess it's really hard to tell how it exactly it's gonna work so what we do have is like a trunk here a trunk here and a trunk in the background which looks like a dead one the same as this one so um, it is definitely tacked to these two I can't really tell on the right hand side it looks almost like it's not on the trunk like this it looks almost like on a on a different kind of tree on a palm tree maybe but maybe this is just the perspective um, that kind of uh, makes it weird but uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see how they use it and how they lay in this uh, thing you can definitely use that in a creative way you know sink these trees into walls and stuff and still make them use it I think that will look pretty good um, and I'm really interested to see how this uh, actually works we have another shot of this beautiful animal over here this is another shot of the clouded leopard and then we have another one of our monkey friend really cool picture as well and this one which I also love and the more I look at it, the more I'm quite confident that the fur shader has been updated. There, it must be. It, it just looks, it just looks so much better. Uh, even though there is like a little seal over here, but you know, just in general, it looks a lot cleaner and a lot more sharp. And yeah, I, I think it is, but. Well, whatever, I don't know. Um, anyhow, as I promised, this was crisp and short. Um, this is all we got to talk about. But now let's move back to my favorite shot over here. This is that one. I think Frontier has taken the right decision to give us an all animal pack. Am I 100% happy? Uh, not really, um, but there's a reason for that. So. I guess um, with everything happening in the Planet Zoo community, um, the demand for animals is really high, as we all know. Um, and animals are, you know, in a zoo game, potentially the most important thing, um, which is no surprise to anyone. However, this game also needs a little bit of a boost, what, uh, you know, regarding um, gameplay, regarding some core mechanics and stuff. 
And potentially animals could also be added um, in a different way. Uh, and, you know, and we are also happy about having, having some more duplicates and some more variants of animals rather than always new animals. So if it is about me, me personally, I think I would be happy with a mixture of both, having an animal pack like this one. Uh, again, fully, fully supported here because I think ev everyone was asking for more animals. We have more animals. That's fine. But I think, you know, I would love to see with every update an intense... Uh, change in core mechanics. I want to see more animations. I want to have new animals just like the uh, kangaroo and the koala bear that just brought in two completely new animals to the game with completely new rigs um, and same goes for the other DLCs we had so far. So if we go quickly through the DLCs we had, we had the arctic DLC which had the polar bear, the doll sheep, the reindeer, um, and what was else in there? Uh, did I forget one? Polar bear, reindeer, uh, Arctic, uh, the Arctic wolf. Okay, so um, obviously in this one we had the reindeer, that was a new one, uh, with a new rig. And we had the polar bear, which was a different bear type of thing. And we even had the doll sheep. So three different rigs, if you will, in there. Even though I think the, the doll sheep shared some, some stuff with other animals. Anyhow, then we had South America, which um, obviously brought in the giant anteater, which was a completely new animal and a completely new rig with uh, completely new animations and uh, new enrichment items, stuff like that, which was... Again, very amazing. Then we had the Australian pack, which obviously brought in uh, two new animals, um, where we had the koala bear and the kangaroo, while the uh, cassowary was a copy paste. I, you know, don't don't take that as like disrespectful. It's amazing. The system that they have in, in place is amazing. But at the end of the day, the cassowary shares the same uh, movement and stuff with the ostrich, um, and the dingo does the same with obviously uh, the other dog-like creatures in the game. So. Um, this leads me to, to the next point. So as amazing as this update is, and we still have to see the animals in action, uh, we don't know if they added a whole bunch of new animations to those, which I do still hope, you know, we haven't seen them moving. Um, I, well, we do have, but you know, not not enough to tell this. Um, I, I guess I guess there still is hope that there's a lot of new stuff in. But again, I really want to see new additions because that would you know give us a broader variety of things that we see. Um, and then obviously um, the billboards edition is great and all this kind of stuff. Um, I want to see more of that in the future. So I really do hope that this was a lovely little move into more animals. And then in the next DLC, which I guess you know I know it's just it's not even dropped and I talk about the next already, but it's very important. I think the next one really is hopefully going to be like a bit more of a core mechanic change. Maybe it's going to be a full marine one. That would be amazing. And then four animals would be great again, um, just to have the basis for that. And then it can be extended, however, in the future. Um, but yeah, just giving us more options of more different things, of more news value. That's what I'm craving for. And that's hopefully going to be happening in the future. But for now, eight new animals the, the number is there for like 999 um or let's take it in pounds okay it's seven seven ninety nine. it's one pound per animal if you will i think that's totally fair also in relation to all the other games out there if you imagine what kind of dlc value you have um i think one pound per animal is really really fair so yeah that's been it uh, from my side here and uh i gotta go back to work <laughs> but now i hope you guys hopefully enjoy the hype i am hype about these new animals and this one over here is just insanely beautiful hopefully there are some more secrets in the dlc you know in form of enrichment items and animations that'd be amazing um but other than that that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite news about the new and what's the favorite animal. Now we can talk about all the animals. What is your favorite addition to the game? Let me know in the comments down below and uh, stay safe everyone. Goodbye.